Hi there folks, for Say News, I'm Andrew Kitchen in Muskoka. And this is my polished and professional multimedia presentation. <laughs> well, hi there folks, how you doing? My name's Andrew Kitchen and this is my polished and professional multimedia presentation. I'm uh, floating in a canoe right now. Uh, on Muskoka, Lake Muskoka. It's outside my grandma's cottage. Um, I was planning a canoe trip this summer with some friends who have never paddled before. And unfortunately I'm not going to be able to go because I just got called back to work. So this is an instructional video for the people on that trip who may need to learn how to J-stroke. In fact, they definitely need to know how to J-stroke. So guys, you're going on to Lake Opiongo. It's the biggest, largest lake in Algonquin Park by far. Uh, it is a very large lake. If you don't know how to make your canoe go straight, uh, it's gonna take a very long time to paddle. So, like I've paddled it before with like young campers and it's only taken three hours. So that makes you sound like, ah, we can figure it out. We can do this for sure. But I've also seen 30 year old grown men take hours, three hours to paddle across a pond. So, um, it's a, yeah, it's a tricky thing. Um, with headwinds, it may take up to eight hours to paddle across Opiongo. The trip I planned is pretty simple for beginners, so it should, you have three days about to paddle across all of Opiongo. But nonetheless, you're gonna need to know how to do a J-stroke, which is how you make the canoe go straight. I know everybody says, oh, it's not too hard. You jump in a boat, you know, one person paddles on one side, the other person paddles on the other side, you, the boat goes straight. It's not that easy. But it is pretty simple. Okay, so let's uh, let's do this right now. Let's figure this out. All right, so I'm gonna lower the camera down and I'm gonna angle it over here. And you're gonna take a look at my hand, the top of my hand. See that? See how the, the thumb turns down? You see that? The thumb turns down. That's how you do a J stroke. And then, watch this. See, I use the gunnel and I pry the water away from the boat. It makes the J motion because it comes straight down and then it sweeps out. That's why it's called a J stroke. Now you want to do this on every single stroke that you do, but sometimes just a little bit, sometimes a lot. It's a feel thing and you got to try to keep the bow of your boat pointed straight forward. And you'll notice my thumb always turns down. That's how you know you're doing it right. You turn your thumb down, pry away. Thumb turns down, pry away. And then if you want to turn, you can start doing C strokes. Then we can spin all the way around. Now we're heading in the other direction. And if you want, let's just see. Yeah, there you go. Now let's do some J strokes again. See, my thumb turning down. Some people will tell you that you don't even need to pry, you don't want to pry off the gunnel of your boat because it damages the gunnels and uh, makes an annoying noise when you do it for a few hours in a row. But don't worry about what they say. Use the gunnel, pry gonna keep your boat moving in the right direction and then you just want to kind of balance it with the power of whoever's in your bow so if you're sterning if you're in the stern you're doing this j-stroke if you're in the bow you're just paddling with power you're just paddling straight old good old-fashioned strokes but you want to balance the power of whoever's in your bow so if they're a really strong paddler, you might not have to do much of a J-stroke. If they're not a very good paddler, if they're not very strong, you might have to do a ton of J-strokes. Anyways, that's my lesson. J-stroke, thumb down, pry away from the boat. It turns your boat. That's how you do it. That's how you keep your boat going straight. Whoopsies. Little technical difficulty there. But what I'm trying to say is, let me see if I can get this thing to go. Come on. There 
go. What I'm trying to say is, paddle your boat straight, you're gonna get across Opiongo in a couple hours. Paddle your boat like this, it's gonna take you three days. So learn how to do it. Okay, kitchen out, peace.